Looks like a cold, cold winter. Plenty of ice and snow out there. As grateful as we are for all of our excellent indoor facilities, and with all due respect to C2, enough is enough. Come on, Bullwinkle, put some go into it. What's the point? I've been rowing for hours and I'm still in the same place. That's just the thing. They were doing it in Texas. They were doing it in Texas. They were doing it. One leg drive, move. Two leg drive, yes. Three, stand up. One, this one, that one. Now. We'll go 24 for 3, 26 for 2. 24 for 3, 26 for 2. On this one! Yeah, boys! Now we got some racing! Stay tough, for everybody! The other boat just did a way better job trusting each other and trusting the rhythm to get that out of what was happening. And in this boat, it was like, we want to win, we want to win, we want to win. And every guy kind of just did his own thing and we just spun our wheels a little bit there. Yeah, we wrapped up the week down in Austin and um, it was, uh, in, at least in my time, the best year of training we've had uh, on uh, a trip down south. Yay, Austin. Yay, Austin. Yay, yay, Austin. Uh, the water was phenomenal the whole time, which uh, definitely uh, takes some luck to get that. God makes the sunshine, God makes the rainfall, God's in charge of the weather. And with the heavyweight guys, the trip uh, was very successful. I, we've been doing some great work here uh, in the boathouse on the Erg, and it's always good to get down there and put that to work on the water. Yeah, Ready, steady, go! Ready, steady, go! Lock it. 152.18. 149 on 20. Grab, squeeze, yeah. 146, 19. Nice. 141 now. Grab, six. Yeah, give me five for the sand in this boat. Show me that sand. Show me, Brian. Pause gun on this one. Let's pause gun. Racing is an instinct. Live in the moment, thrive in that moment. It doesn't have to be perfect to win. Ready, steady, go! Oh, yo, you got one of those cameras! <laughs> yo, I should wear it. Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh no, it's...
staring at us. <laughs> oh, dude, he never turned it on. No, it's on. He turned it on. Yeah, it's the camera's going right now. Okay! Where is that point? Does that camera get sound? Yeah. I just want to do a little shout out to my boys. Say hello to the people. Say hello to the people at home, right? Shout out to my boys. Come on, wave, wave, wave to the folks at home, Mike. Wave to the folks at home. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Miss you. Still on. Still on. Uh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Go team. You really want to know what's next? Let's go. Wait, hurry, ask me, Lauren. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? What is it, Lauren? Ba na na na. Is that right? I'm done. Have to eat up. We need to go here. Blessing now. And press. Three. Yeah. Four. Looking at Austin and looking at the boatings every day and how I was able to switch a lot of guys around. Um, I tried a lot of different combinations and I think what I found is that I'm happy with got the way guys are rowing right now. Um, aside from maybe a couple of guys, I like the way everybody, everybody's rowing technically right now. And I think we, we maintain a, a pretty sharp competitive edge. Get the Ready? Now! End it! Go on. End it! Everyone's gotta be in! Pat up! Fuck, you can't give up when you're down! Can't give up! It's gonna be an interesting spring, because I, I know, looking at the numbers, I know a lot of guys deserve a good look at the, at the very top of our group for the first varsity. It's gonna be close. But I think coming out of Austin, what I know is I have 12 or 13 guys that I, I think I could put in the first varsity and make it go a certain speed. I think the same uh, could be said about the JV. And then not to, not to forget the freshmen. I like the way our freshman class is. It's a, it's a small, tight-knit group. And that's what I like about Austin. It's pretty much the first time now that we see that freshman group gel with the team. I think they're a good, feisty group, and uh, they'll, be, they'll be very, very competitive come March. We got to row better. We got a, there's a, there's a very real, there's a very real thing going on in our league. Somebody's gonna figure it out and, and go faster than we did last year. I start every day, I start every practice just knowing that our league is super competitive and we have to keep raising the bar. Uh, we can't settle for where we were last year or any historical standard. We just have to keep on up in the bar. And off the water, it's a week of traditions. The heavyweights have their annual T. Wickham Schmidt Memorial Facial Hair Competition.
keeper. I'd like to present the freshman lightweight men class of 2014, performing double dream hands. Start with your heads down. Now look up slowly. Bring your arms up and bring them down. You're gonna go up again, both arms higher this time. Turn them down. Bring your thumbs to yourself and down. Point your right hand from low to high. First your right hand. Now fist to your sides. Now your fingers, five, four, three, two, one. First, both hands. Up, punch, across. Crank, crank, stay down. Shoulder, chin, shoulder, and tap. Double dream hands. And butterfly. Double dream hands, freestyle. Make a tight group. Punch. Uh, welcome to the uh, 97th annual lightweight date night. <laughs> it started in 1914, uh, discontinued for five years from 1955 to 1959. Um, but it's back on. I don't know. That Cold War. That's a true story, McGuire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> looks like we got next. Uh, we got um, Alex Rubert, Spencer Strobel, and Maggie Strobel. <laughs> 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 you guys get all hot. Give me a kiss. Come on, guys. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Make a Strobel sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Carter Greenbaum and Zach Romano with <laughs> Aaron Rosenbaum. Yeah! yeah! Aaron, good job! This is uh, the best date night ever. Take off your shirt! <laughs> the open women keep up their annual ritual of handing down their hand-me-down fashions. This is the pantsuit, the finest of the dresses. It, it's, it looks like a dress, but it opens up to a pants. <laughs> it goes to the weirdest kid on the team. <laughs> it's a dress. And this is the innocent but not dress, um, and it goes to the team member who's seemingly innocent, but actually not. <laughs> This is the cat suit, but hold on. This is the cat suit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's for, you know, a feisty girl who um, needs to be able to move around fast <laughs> or not. <laughs> this is the party girl dress for the girl who likes to go out and have a good time. Okay. <laughs> 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 This is the Joe Giant dress. It's pretty self-explanatory. It, it goes to the girl on the team with the biggest heart. Um, Joe Giant. Kelly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and for the third straight year, junior lightweight Ken Kaneko performed an original tribute to one of the members of the women's team. But I don't want those cheesy eggs. Just want those crazy legs.
Okay, the first piece will be five minutes and the first piece will be out at 28, which I believe will feel low. Have one leg drive for five. That's one leg drive together. Two, stand up. Right on. Three, set. We're on 28. Good. How bad do you want it? How much are you willing to fight for it? I'm asking you to become better racers with good heads on your shoulder. But racers. But racers. Finish it out over the center. Yeah, keep it tough. Keep it tough. Push through, Roar. Keep it tough. Push through. Push through. No one's gonna give it to you. No one. Get ready, we're taking a big move at the one minute mark. You have no mercy in this piece. You don't let them move back in. Get ready. I'm gonna give you guys 26 and 28 this time, and I wanna see if we can hit those marks. Okay, not just spin your wheels for more because, oh, well, 30's faster. Right now, it's not faster. We'll do three starting five minute pieces down here, then we'll probably do another shot on the way back to the boathouse, probably off the fly. But the, these three pieces are the pieces that count the most right here. Take your cadence, 31, 31, no higher! Move the boat at 31! This is great! Come on, take a couple seats back. Let's walk on them, tigers. Let's walk on them. Here we go, three, four. You want to see that finish? Take a couple seats back! Take a couple seats back! He's cheering for us! He's cheering for us! Okay, boy, you guys have fun out there racing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do it again tomorrow morning. Oh, all right? Sweet. Yeah, and in addition to all the good uh, training stuff that we did this past week, we had our uh, annual uh, social gatherings. Um, this year we actually added a fantastic event uh, hosted by Don Forns95, uh, the original muscle shaped like fat. He uh, rented the Torchy's taco truck for his house and had the entire boathouse over. It's actually pretty impressive. He had 160 people in his backyard uh, and uh, filled them up on tacos. It was a huge, uh, huge hit with the team. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el rey David. Hoy por ser día de tu santo te las cantamos a ti. Despierta mi bien, despierta, mira que ya amaneció y a los pajaritos. Uh, on Wednesday night we went over to the Harris family's house and uh, they treated us to a, a night of uh, Rudy's barbecue. And, uh, and once again on the final Friday night we made our annual pilgrimage down to uh, uh, Smitty's barbecue down in Lockhart, Texas uh, and ate way too much meat. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> nice, nice soft space. <laughs> These people are cheese beans. 
So uh, all in all, great treat. Uh, training was fantastic. Our guys worked really hard. You know, we made a lot of progress. There's still work to do, but uh, we're on the right track, and I can't wait. And uh, from a standpoint of getting some time uh, to bond as a team, there's no question that uh, the team is the team is tight. <laughs>